Hi everyone, it's Robin from Upstyle. I'm here today to show you how to make a really quick and easy project using cork fabric. It's a gift bag made out of cork fabric that you can give as a gift all by itself or add a bottle of wine or sparkling cider or whatever your favorite beverage is. Um, anyway, it's a really fun project. Hope you like it. The template you'll need for the project is a free download the link is in the description below and I guess that's it let's get started you'll need a piece of cork fabric that measures 6 inches wide by 27 inches long 24 inches of 5 millimeter cork cord some good thread some a marking pen or pencil double-sided tape scissors a hole punch a lighter, some hardware, and finally the template for the gift bag. Use the template to trace around the top edge of both ends of the cork fabric. and then you'll use scissors to cut along those lines. From the pieces you cut off, cut about two quarter inch wide strips. you use them later. Put a piece of double sided tape about a quarter of an inch below where the curved edge is. Remove the backing and fold that top piece down so it's flush with the curved edges of the piece. Then use your marking pen or pencil to trace around the holes. And then use your hole punch to punch holes in all four locations. Next, draw a line about an eighth of an inch from each side of the holes. These will be your stitching guidelines. Repeat this process for the other end of the fabric. Next, you'll be sewing around the top edges of both ends to help stabilize the area around the holes. I like to start on the right hand side of the middle line, sew down, backstitch a few times across the bottom, all the way around the curve, pivot at the middle line and sew toward the left to finish all of the stitching lines. Trim your threads, like I'm doing here. I use polyester thread, so I like to use a lighter to help secure them. I also like to use my lighter to help seal the raw edges of the cork along the top curved edge. 
Okay, now it's time to sew the side seams. So fold your fabric piece right sides together and clip it along the top. Take those quarter inch wide pieces of cork fabric that you had cut earlier and fold them on the side just below the last line of stitching. This will help secure that top edge. Add a few clips along the sides to keep the edges together. And at the bottom, mark a line two inches above the fold on each side. Then fold the bottom up to meet the line and clip in place. You'll do this for both sides. Start sewing at the side tabs, back stitch a few times, sew all the way down, I'm using an eighth of an inch seam allowance, and go all the way down and back stitch at the bottom folds. You'll do this for this other side as well. Trim your threads and the ends of the tabs like this. Now turn the bag right side out. And at the bottom just sort of push the seam out and it'll form the shape of the bottom. Thread the cord through the holes in and out all the way around so that the two ends come out next to each other in the front. Pull the cord ends down so that they're even in length and the top loop is about three inches long. I'm using a bolo tie adjuster on this bag. You just slip the ends into the top part, pull them out the bottom. cinch it in place, and then lock it so it doesn't slide. To finish the ends of the cord, I'm just gluing on some small metal end caps. And that's it. Your bag is done. Uh, folds flat for easy storage. It makes a nice gift all by itself. Or, of course, you can add a bottle of wine. If you're interested in customizing this bag, check out the ideas provided in my next video. Thanks for watching and have fun!